Thaddeus in the building. All right, man. So, uh, you 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 stepped up in the building to holler at me about uh about Havlor lines. Am I am I pronouncing that right? Yep, Halver. Halver. It's, uh, Halver lines. Uh, you know I you yep. know I beat up names like crazy over here. Okay, Halver. All right. So how how long you been uh, driving for him? My or. So my orientation for the gold program, because I went through their gold program, was last year on the 26th. So it will be my one year on the 26th of this month. Okay, so explain to me what what what, what is a gold program? What what is that? We're paid a sal. It's they get you your CDL. It's an eight week training course. I'm local to where their main terminal is. So I didn't have to get flown in, but other people in the class from the class after me did have to get flown in. But it's an eight-week training program course where you're paid $1,000 a week to get your CDL. You get to pretty much practice as much as you want once you're certified in the backing maneuvers, basically saying you're not going to break the truck, essentially that you're using the train on the range. But I got my CDL through the company, essentially. Okay, okay. So the CDL training is is paid training. Thousand dollars a week, gross. That's gross, not take home. It's obviously going to be taxed like any other job out there. Because you, if it wasn't taxed, you could only imagine how many back taxes you would owe. <laughs> so this is this is paid yeah. paid training. Through the company, so you you went through the company. Uh, was there any type of financial agreement that you had to sign as far as them paying for the paying for your CDL? Was there anything that you had to you know contracts or anything like that? Correct. I'm at a one year contract. One year from your first date of starting class, not getting in your own truck. From the first day you start the class, I started class, I said, 26th of last of September of last year. So that will be my one year. That's what my contract is up. Have you, have you seen, and, ha, have you seen or met anybody that, that went through the program and decided not to, uh, you know, decided not to not do the, the full year? And if so, did they by chance tell you that they had to, that they had to pay everything back, including the thousand dollars a week. So, yes, I actually have one of the class members from the class after me. I'm not going to say his name, but because obviously that's not important. But he ended up getting on with it. He didn't want to. He couldn't get enough home time because he lives in Michigan, so he wanted to go to some other company. Um, he did. That other company was able to pay for half his school, but he would since he was it was so early that he left. I believe he had he had to pay the ten thousand dollars. Yeah, ten ten k is a but is, is a lick. Keep this in mind. It's a thousand ten thousand is a lot of money, but I believe that they also do if you however they take that by a year let's say you stay half a year i believe you're only gonna owe half that amount i believe that's how it works that you've paid in certain on don't take that for long and i don't know that for sure but i believe that's how it is but my recommendation is i know another person i cannot say why he got kicked out of a class let's just say it was a reckless act I can't really say too much on that, but he let's just say he did something really dumb because my class had three. He had, we had, then we, I ended up going through it with two left in my class, me and one other guy, both me and that other guy still work for the company. And, but yes, you do have to pay it back. And, but you gotta keep in mind the class of CDL school at the college right by me, eight and a half thousand dollars. Got it locked, boy.
Yeah.